Now it's no secret that I'm a bit of a coffee enthusiast. I, I told you, you were the one. I drink a lot of coffee, in fact, and sometimes, you know, when it's hot out and so on, I want to switch it up. I want to go for an iced coffee. I'm a big, I'm a big iced coffee guy. But here's the thing, when you're out, you go to the Starbucks and so on, it's really simple. You just order the iced coffee, it all, coffee, ice. Seems straightforward. Turns out, not straightforward. Try to make iced coffee at home, all right? Try to take your hot coffee and turn it into iced coffee. Because if you just add ice to your hot coffee, that just becomes watery, lukewarm coffee. It's disgusting. And of course, it's because the ice just dilutes the coffee because the coffee is too hot coming out of the machine. That's where this thing comes in. I love coffee, you love coffee, and now we can do our own iced coffee with the Hyper Chiller, a very simple little device that will chill your coffee, make it ready for ice without the ice. What, excuse me? Okay, let's explain. So, it fits right into most single cup brewers and has a deep lid for easy use with any traditional method. Save time, okay, sure, I don't have to go to the coffee shop, I get it. They say it'll pay for itself in two weeks. It's a high capacity, 12.5 ounce cooling chamber where the ice is separated from your beverage by two layers of stainless steel. This gives you zero dilution of the coffee itself or whatever beverage that you put inside of here. Think of all the beverages you add ice to that end up diluted that you could pour in here. Alcoholic beverages that you would normally want to be cold. You have a warm beer, you need to cool it down right quick, you dump it in there, you're good to go. Whatever your beverage, put it in the hyper chiller. You can cool hot coffee by up to 130 plus degrees in 60 seconds. We're gonna test that of course. Chill whiskey, wine, and iced tea, all without dilution, and it's dishwasher safe. All right, cool. How has this thing not come into my life? Okay. Ooh, that's a, that's a mug right there. You pop the top off like this. Oh, and that's the magic. Does this come off now? Oh, I think it does, okay. Look at that, another chamber. Oh, this one comes off too, holy smokes. Wow, would you look at that, okay. So step one, you fill this up with water. There's a mark on that there. Then you fill up the larger stainless steel cup here, and then the two of them get twisted back on. And then the two of them go in here, and you freeze the whole package. In fact, this device will just live in your freezer. And on that note, let's fill this baby up, get it frozen, and see if I can have a nice coffee in one minute. Let's go. Okay, so I have the coffee machine here. It's an espresso. This could be a Keurig. It could even be some, some old school style drip coffee. It doesn't matter. Now, I have some ice here. If you think you're just gonna go ahead and add ice to hot coffee, let's go ahead and brew one of these and I'll show you. You see the ice? Getting gobbled up. Wow, when you see that Nespresso in a glass, I mean, let's be honest, that ice is already gone. That ice is gone, isn't it? Look, I put a giant chunk of ice in there. It's just, it's melted in there. They're gonna melt so fast because of how hot the substance is. All you're gonna get is watery, lukewarm coffee. It's no good, trust me, I've tried this in the past. You'd have to take this and put it in the fridge for a while before it was cold enough to then add ice to it. Nobody has time for, ain't nobody got time for that, Jack. You know that's true. Ain't nobody got time for that. Still super hot to the touch, and if I try to drink it, still hot, still hot on my lips. That's not an iced coffee, it's no good. Now the question is, does the hyper chill work? I have it here, look, it's frozen. It sat in the freezer. Now when you go to use this thing, you'll just, you'll pluck it out. The coffee will be made right into the top here. Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll put another coffee in here. So I'm making around eight ounces right now and that'll chill out in about one minute according to the document here. And check that out, Jack. We're making our Nespresso straight into the Hyper Chill. Yeah. 
the smell of fresh coffee, you know? Almost 4.03, at 4.04, I'm gonna pour this into this glass right here. Now, they recommend you pour it over ice. If it's just hot coffee onto ice, it'll melt the ice instantly. So the hope here is that the ice remains frozen even after I've poured the coffee on top of it. 60 seconds for a small or medium coffee. Swirling it can expedite the cooling process. And of course, they have the times listed here for wine and spirits also. Okay, cool, we're there. We're gonna pour it in, it's the moment of truth. Ooh. Would you look at that. That's like Starbucks caliber iced coffee right there. Unmelted, cold to the touch in my hands. Mm-hmm. That thing is the real deal. That's a game changer. Oh my goodness, I might switch over completely to ice. Forget about hot coffee, who needs it? It's the summer. Mmm. Exceeds my expectation. Wow. We open it up, check that out. Wow solid ice and then this chamber on the inside the stainless steel that's what the coffee passes through and around now what do i do with this every so often rinse it out chuck it back in the freezer it's ready to go for the next morning afternoon evening whenever it is that you want an iced beverage like this jack you're gonna like this man so many people drink coffee daily like i do and now the opportunity to do iced coffee instantly exists from this simple gadget, the Hyper Chiller. Check it out. Uh.